Let me quickly show you how to sign your Spring Boot application to GitHub. So this is a Spring application I called Spring Security Tutorial. It's a tutorial I made. And now this is my Git, uh, Git, Git profile. So I have 10 repositories. So now this application called Spring Security Tutorial, I'm going to send it all the way up to GitHub. So what I'm going to do now is simply to come to GitHub and simply say uh, new. So I create a new repository. That's the first step. And I'm going to call it the same name as the application, Spring Security Tutorial. If you are joining for the first time, hit the subscribe button uh, to subscribe to my channel. So I call it Spring Security Tutorial and simply click on public is fine and just say create. So if you are working with Spring or building some local application, then you need to be using Spring Boot. Uh, you need to be using GitHub to, uh, to, to put your applications. Uh, so this is, this is the step to follow. So we've done the first step. We've created a, a repository in GitHub. The next thing we are going to do is to go to Spring Boots and then we are going to right click on our project and choose Show Local Terminal and, and uh, choose Git Bash. So let's see. So I'm going to come here, right click on the project and select Show uh, in Local Terminal and choose Git Bash. Now, if somehow this doesn't work, maybe you know that Git, Git Bash is not installed in your system then simply uh, go to Git Bash, uh, download it and install. So it's simply Git Bash download. So simply go to the download and simply download for Windows. You can see for Windows, download and install. That's all, that's just what you need to do. All right, so now we, we are done with step three. Uh, then we are going to initialize a local Git repository because if you are going to be pushing our application to the remote repository in GitHub, we also need to have a local Git repository. So to, to create a local repository, I'm going to simply say Git init. And now it creates a local uh, repository for me. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is to add all the files to the local Git repository using the command git add dot. So it's going to add my application, everything, or the content of my application directory, everything is going to be added to the local git repository. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is to prepare the file to be transferred to the remote repository. So the command to do that is the commit command. The commit command actually doesn't sign the files uh, to the remote repository, but kind of it prepares it to be signed to the remote repository. So I'm going to simply say git commit commit minus m and I give a comment, let's say uh, first commit. So it could be anything, it could be it could be anything. So that's a comment I'm giving. All right, so that I could be able to track these changes. So uh, everything should be fine, all right? So the next thing is um, I'm going to go to my remote repository and I'm going to copy the, the repository URL. That's what I'm going to do. And that is step 11 we are talking about at this time. So I'm going to go to GitHub and go to the repository. Uh, the URL for the repository I just created is this one. So you can see, so simply click on this, it says copy, uh, just click on it and it copies to the clipboard, all right? So we're gonna come back here and then um, I'm gonna say git remote add and I'm going to add that remote repository. So I'm gonna say git remote origin and then I'm gonna paste that repository uh, URL I copy uh, at this point. So I'm gonna paste it, yeah. So let's see, unknown command, let's see what happens. So I say git remote origin, so everything should be fine. Unknown sub commands, okay, so git remote. Okay, so I missed out the ad, so. I'm gonna simply say git remote uh, add origin, so add origin. So this is what it should be. And everything is fine. 
The last command I'm now going to execute is to verify, not exactly the last, I'm going to verify that the, the, the URL is correct, that is the remote repository is actually existing. And I'm going to simply say cheats remote minus v, so for verify, so it's going to verify and it does a push, it does, does a pull, does a fetch and a push, and everything is fine. So finally, I'm going to push, uh, send this application into GitHub uh, by executing this command that says git push origin master. So this final command is going to send everything all the way up to GitHub. So you can see it says total 39, um, blah, 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 blah. Everything won went successfully 100%, and I think it should be fine. So let's go to GitHub to check if it was if it successfully was pushed there. So this is it. So this is a new uh, repository we created. I'm going to check it at this time. So you can see that we have the file src main. Uh, everything is there. So it actually uh, pushed the remote repository. All right. So I'm going to thank you for viewing. If you are joining for the first time, hit the subscribe button, like, and share this video because in the next tutorial, I'm now going to show you how to publish. From JIT to your to 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 um, what was the name to to Heroku. So I'm going to show you how to publish from JIT to Heroku and actually run your application free in Heroku. So let me check who is calling me. Meanwhile, thanks for viewing. I remain kind on the Tech Pro.